This Ridley Report is brought to you by Libertania.com. Put yourself in their shoes. It's seven years after you have fought an eight-year war with the United Kingdom. Savage, bloody fighting from coast to coast, from east to west, in order to establish their divorce from the United Kingdom. A leader of men who knows a thing or two about the way the British go to war and has a plan to relieve the burden on New England. Then all of a sudden, between 1783 and 1791, what they're hearing is that the country that they just seceded from, they've got Hamiltonians who want to clone it and make the same thing in these United States. People were horrified. They were saying, wait, wait, you're saying that I've lost brothers, sisters, wives, husbands in this conflagration, and the only thing I get out of it, not even a t-shirt, I just get the same thing? I don't think so. I don't want that. You know, it speaks to the fact that so many people have been participating in parchment worship. I think that's part of the reason why secession suffers from a certain amnesia in these United States. People don't get the fact that seceding is not only perfectly natural, it is the moral high ground. Can you think of a case, maybe among your family relations, your extended family, in which you think it would be healthy for two people who wanted to get a divorce to be forced to remain forever at gunpoint and that that would be salutary for everybody involved? I can't. I can't think of that. New countries, 1990 to present. 34 new countries have shown up since 1990 alone. 34. The lion's share of those, of course, were calved off of the Soviet Union, as I had mentioned before. Now, has the U.S ever calve states before 1990? Yes, it has. The Confederate States, the 11 states. But did you know that Maine was calved off of Massachusetts and that West Virginia came from Virginia during the War of Northern Aggression? Kentucky came from Virginia and Vermont came from New York and here, New Hampshire. As a matter of fact, here in New Hampshire in the 1830s, a portion of New Hampshire called the Republic of Indian Stream declared their independence. And it maintained its own organized elected government for three years before being occupied by, wait for it, the New Hampshire militia. There are 62 secessionist mo movements that are known all around the globe right now. I would submit to you, in my research, it's three times that number. Because what you'll find, for instance, is the United Nations will not acknowledge that Kurdistan wants to become an independent republic from Iraq as we speak. The reason they won't do that is because the U.S. has a disproportionate influence on the United Nations despite what we're told. In that influence, they are members of NATO. In the North Atlantic Treaty Organization is a country called Turkey. That country does not like Kurds or Kurdistan at all because of PKK terrorism and other historical stuff that we don't need to get into during this talk. If Kurdistan is granted its independence, the U.S. is very afraid that within 24 hours, Turkey would move one million troops into Kurdistan and make it a region of Turkey. Therefore, I, I give that to you as a lesson in why of the 62 seceding nation states around the world presently, I think the number is more placed at, at three times that. You will find in Afghanistan, for instance, which is a country, and I admire this about them, that can have a mayor, but it can never have a president, there are secessionist movements numbering in the dozens there. As a matter of fact, there are tribes there that would secede from the tribe next door to them gladly. That Duran line that separates the northeastern frontier from Pakistan is a fictional representation to everybody who lives in the Pashtun. The only people who pay attention to that is the U.S. State Department and the United Nations because the people who actually live there don't believe that Afghanistan, Pakistan are recognizable countries for them because they just don't give a shit about it. I can say shit. There it is. <laughs> in my state of Arizona, in the late 1930s, there were differences between mining and, and ranching interest in Cochise County, where I live, and there was a secessionist movement within Cochise County. As a matter of fact, those of you familiar with Tucson, which is south of Phoenix, there has been a secessionist movement to carve the state into two since the 1980s. <laughs> Libertania, 
The Liberation of Conformia, is a children's book that makes freedom fun. Although, I guess it's already fun. Buy it on Amazon, get it in print, or use it on Kindle. Teaching Without Preaching, The Ideals of Freedom to the Most Important People in Your Life. Libertania.com